Hey YouTube land, welcome to my video. Well, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Autel Evo and the Mavic 2. Well, actually the Mavic 2 Pro in this case, Mavic 2 Zoom's gonna do the same thing. I get asked an awful lot of questions about the Autel Evo because Autel Evo's a pretty good drone and a lot of people wanna buy it due to the price and what you get. But when they ask me this question, they no longer buy it. They say, I wanna use the Autel Evo to follow me in mountain biking or hiking. And then I say, hmm, my last test I did with the Autel Evo, it does not have a feature to follow you up a hill or down a hill. So then they say, okay, which drones do? And I say, well, I've tested the Spark and the Mavic Air, they both work. And then they say, what about the Mavic 2 Zoom or the Mavic 2 Pro? And I say, I don't know, because I never tested them. So that's why I'm out here today, because I have my Mavic 2 Pro with me and I have the Autel Evo. Uh, now the Autel Evo has gone through a ton of firmware updates. It's, it's pretty much a, over a year old. Today is July, what is it? July 6, uh, 2019. So as of today, I have the latest firmware updates on the Autel Evo and the Mavic 2 Pro. And uh, we're gonna see in this little video, I'm gonna walk around here. You can see I'm, I'm higher than the water. So I'm gonna walk down this here rocky ravine thing here and uh, I'll see if both drones will uh, follow me down and will they follow me back up. Now, two things are gonna happen today. There are some trees. See behind me over here, you got some trees. So they might have to use their forward optical avoidance sensors to go around the trees or above them. And uh, there is some wind because we are out in the open. So they got to fight the wind, the trees, the optical avoidance and the up and down, which is the perfect it's the perfect recipe for hiking or mountain biking, or hey, what if you're downhill skiing? What if you're snowshoeing? These are things you need in a drone if you're gonna use them to active track, follow you. So I'll try it out and uh, we'll see what happens. Here we go. All right, the sun just came out behind the clouds. It's really humid today. Everything is fogging up on my phone and my uh, controller. I have pants on today because uh, I'm gonna be walking in those bushes and I have my little hiking shoes on. All right. And I have little holes in my knees for vents. <laughs> All right, so here we go. So uh, let's turn the record on here. I've got screen record happening on my phone so you can see the active track and everything. So let's uh, take it up. All right, take it out there. Turn it around so it looks at me. Bring the camera down. Where am I? I'm over here. All right, so let's bring this on me. Got a good shot of me. I'm gonna go into active track and I'm gonna draw a little box around me. It's got it, go. We are on active track right now. No matter where I move, the drone follows me, which is perfect. All right, so take a look at the height on my screen. I'm at 3.6 meters. I'll try to put the Autel Evo at the same height. So if this works, when I walk down a hill, it should stay approximately you know, it should not go like eight meters in the air as I drop down, it should come down with me. So let's uh, turn this way and walk. I gotta find there's a little place to go down. It's over here. All right, so my goal, <laughs> as you look down here, my goal is not to slip on these loose rocks as I go down, as I hold this in one hand. So let's see, it should keep following me. I'm going down. All right. So check out on the screen, the height. Look at the height, it's going 2.9. So it also has sensors on the bottom. So it's checking to make sure it's not gonna hit anything on the bottom. So the Mavic 2, I can tell you right now, seems like it's doing what it's supposed to do. So I'm walking this way. There are snakes in here. I've already uh, wrecked this area and <laughs> snakes went flying out everywhere and it freaked the hell out of me. But uh, let's see. So I'm going this way, I got a tree here. I'm gonna try to go around that tree and uh, hopefully no snakes jump out. All right. Still coming. It's doing well. This is the Mavic 2. The Zoom, this is the Mavic 2 Pro. The Zoom would do the exact same thing. So there's no worries there. And uh, let's see. It's coming. Yeah, still got me. All right. So uh, it definitely goes down. Look at the height. I'm at uh, 0.03 meters. It's pretty low. Looking back at it, it's still there. It's come down. The height has come way down, uh, which is perfect. It's still the same height right there. All right. So let's walk back and uh, go along this way. See, there's trees everywhere, trees behind it. It's got to avoid the tree behind it. It's still pretty low to the ground. So it sits there. It knows there's trees in the back. I could see it on the little display that there's trees. So it's doing that. And uh, let's see, let's go this way. 
And uh, let's go this way. This is gonna be cool because it's got to come around these trees to follow me back up. It's going, 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 going. And let's see, going this way, going back up this thing. All right. Okay, let's see what it does. It's followed me up. So, you know, it, uh, when people ask me now about the Mavic 2 Zoom and the Mavic 2 Pro can use them for mountain biking, downhill skiing, uh, mountain climbing, all that good stuff, snowshoeing, the answer would be yes. So uh, let's land this and try it with the Autel Evo. All right, now we've got the Autel Evo down here. I've got my phone. I'm gonna put the record on so you can record the video. I've also got a screen record on. Hopefully that's working and uh, Let's launch the Autel Evo. Bring it up. Yeah. All right, so let's bring the camera down on moi, on me, and down here. And let's go into the options. So up here, we hit our little option. We want to go dynamic track. Next. Finish. I'm gonna draw a box around me. Now on the right, it's got follow. I'm just gonna click that, hang on a second. Active track settings. So backwards flight, I wanna enable that. Obstacle avoidance is on, so everything's good. If you don't put the backwards flight on, then the obstacle avoidance in the rear of the Autel Evo will not function. And I need it because I'm gonna to walk towards it and it's gonna to go towards a tree. Okay, I hit start and uh, yeah, we're all set. It should follow me. So now just like, uh, just like the Mavic, if I walk to the side, it goes pretty really good here. I'm just gonna get rid of this map on my screen. There we go. And if I walk the other way, it should uh, do well and go that way as well. All right, so now the big test. Let's go down, where was it? Where was I going down? Here it is over here. <laughs> okay, you gotta follow me down this thing. Here we go, I'm going down. So is it gonna stay at that height all the way down or is it gonna come down with me? Let's see, so I go down here, try not to wipe out. There we go, I'm down. All right, take a look at the height. It's at 3.5 meters above the ground up there. It doesn't look like it's coming down, but we'll see. I'm gonna go this way now. I'm gonna go deeper down here. Going, 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 going near that tree. And it's lost me. Oh no, Autel! What type of drone have you made? <laughs> That's not good. Hang on, let's go back. Let's be, I'll give you one more try, Autel. <laughs> People want you, Autel. Hang on, I hit stop. People want you so that they can uh, use you for hiking and stuff. And if you can't do this simple task, then uh, people that want to buy you for hiking and mountain biking just aren't gonna do it. Okay, let's grab me again here. There we go, I'm gonna hit start. It's got me, and uh, there we go, I'm going down. I've even got the controller in my hand, so it can follow that if it wanted to, but not sure. I'm not going fast. Going this way, is it coming this time? All right. Still up there. It doesn't seem like it's coming down, but let's just keep going here. Go near this tree like I did with the uh, the Pro Mavic 2. So I'm going this way, going past the snakes, <laughs> go past this little piece of wood. It's lost me again! <laughs> oh my god. All right. And it's still a way up there. It doesn't look like it's coming down at all. All right, I'll tell. So there's not much I can say then about the Evo. Let's see, it just doesn't want to do it. I hit the stop, follow, and I adjust it on me again, and I say start. It's up there, but you know, I'd have to bring it down. I'm doing this manually now. That's about as low as the, uh, the Mavic 2 Pro was. It came down that low. Of course, they don't have sensors on the side, so I have to be careful for that. It'll smash into that tree. I don't know why it loses me here. It just, look it, it won't follow me through the shadows. It's, it just doesn't have the ability so yeah, I don't know. I've had to reset it. That's the third time I just reset it. And uh, let's see, does it follow me this way? Okay, it's got me now. I'm gonna stare at the screen here. It's got me, it's got me. This is try number three. It's still the way up there. It's not coming down. And uh, see, I have no idea what it's doing. Okay, it's still got me now. 
This thing is hit and miss. I want to see if I bring it down. Will it think it's still a way up there? So I'm coming down, coming down. What's it say on my screen? All right, so that's about as high as the Mavic 2 Pro was. Now let's walk back and uh, I want to go this way, just like I did with the Mavic 2 Pro. It's got obstacle avoidance in the rear on. I said it. It's going this way. Walking this way. All right, coming back this way. Whoa, I don't know what I'm standing on here. Get over these rocks. There it is right there. You see if it goes back. Look, it's, it's not, it's staying there because I'm at this level. It's not changing height. I'm getting, I'm going up towards it and yet it's staying at that level and there's a tree there, but it has no side sensors. So it could conceivably smash into that tree. Going this way. Success, continue tracking. It says, oh, it's proud of itself. All right, let me just get rid of that map. See if it can make it up. Look at it's going back through the trees. Oh, now it's going back. And now it's probably lost me because it's just flying backwards into Never Never Land. All right, okay, Peter Pan. See if you can follow me now. I'm going up here. Can you see me? <laughs> now it's, you are, you've got nine lives there. Oh, oh, maybe I spoke too soon. It's gonna go. It's following me. It's coming all over the place, but uh, it's a little close. I'm not bringing it that close. It's that close. All right, so I would not recommend the Autel Evo for mountain climbing, for mountain biking, for hiking up and down hills, for downhill skiing, uh, for snowshoeing across country up and down. I think you're, you're better off to go with a DJI drone for that. Eventually, Autel, you know, it's been a year, they've had a year to add that feature, but uh, they haven't added it. They've added all these other features, which are pretty good, but they didn't add that one. So hopefully, Autel, you're watching this and you put it on the list for a future feature because you're losing a lot of drone sales by not having that feature. That's why people buy drones for the simple fact of active track to have it follow them up and down locations. All right, let's bring you back. So if Autel adds the feature of active track up and down hills, I will come back out and uh, do this test again, uh, just to show you that it's in the Autel Evo. If you don't need active track to follow you up and down hills and you just walk on flat ground, well then, you know, the Autel Evo is perfectly fine. Don't discount it. If you're never gonna use that feature, don't just say the Autel Evo, I'm not gonna buy that just because of that. You have to wanna use that feature like I did here to actually make a decision on the Autel Evo because the Autel Evo does have 60 frames per second at 4K, whereas the Mavic 2 doesn't. So, you know, the video's pretty darn good on the Autel Evo. Anyways, that's another honest, fair review from me. Uh, so, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'm going to put links below if you want to buy the Autel Evo or the Mavic 2 Pro. I don't know if they're on sale. Hey, that'd be pretty cool if they're on sale right now when I put the links below. Anyways, check it out and uh, stay tuned for more uh, comparison videos. Take care.